50 plus one grand anniversary of the Rata festival, as you heard this incredible piano concerto, supremely performed by James Dick, Beethoven had just finished this concerto. It had yet to be performed, but he had just finished it when he began composing the Seventh Symphony. There had not been a note of Beethoven's orchestral music played in Vienna in five years when this symphony was premiered. It was premiered on December 8th, 1813. And on December 22nd, there was a short little program that included the Fifth Symphony, the Sixth Symphony, the Fourth Piano Concerto, an aria called Al Parfido, three sections from the Mass, Beethoven's Improvisations, and the Choral Fantasy. And that wonderful concert, which was a marathon, as you can tell, had a, had a total of a single rehearsal. So since that day, there had not been a note play of Beethoven until this December 8th program. And Beethoven decided he was going to do something very special. Because on October 30th and October 31st of 1813, there was a huge battle, a raging two-day battle, the 30th and the 31st, almost 100,000, 44,000, 42, 44,000 Austrian Hungarian soldiers were fighting. So he decided, out of respect for those that fought, that he's going to give a special concert and play the Seventh Symphony for them. In the audience, not at a concert hall, not in a castle, but at the great hall of the Vienna University, University of Vienna, the audience was wounded soldiers, family members. And he offered them this symphony. As it's written, it's probably the most successful concert in Beethoven's life. And interestingly enough, some of the most important and most brilliant composers and performers of the day in Vienna all chose to join Beethoven for that concert in solidarity of that gesture of appreciation. So, it's in four movements, like all symphonies. The first, third, and fourth movement are very dance-like. They're very celebratory. But the movement that had to be repeated on demand by the audience, that concert was the second movement. It was the second movement. The other movements are very joyous and celebratory. That movement, somehow or another, has almost like a mantra, a reflective character about it that a little Sorry, that allowed those soldiers to reflect on the harm and all of the things that they had suffered. A little bit over a month before. So, we offer you the Seventh Symphony as a moment of celebration. And I know every one of these incredibly gifted and talented musicians join me in saying thank you to all of you, the supporters, the people that give so much to this festival that ensure its longevity and its health for the future. And also, we offer this to all of those who protect us, who keep us safe, and all of those who are on the front line.